Oh. How do you describe this movie? They were all here for a purpose in the universe picks its time. I need you to help me get home. Okay, buddy? Okay, buddy. Tsunami Man is directed by a guy named Daniel and is written by a guy named Daniel and it stars Paul Dano and Daniel Radcliffe. So of course the only thing going through your mind right now is like, damn, that's a lot of Daniels. To answer your question, yes, I did do that and yes, you can dislike it for that. But it'd be preferable if you dropped a like just now because it's going to get worse. So Paul Dano, he's stranded on an island, he's just about to kill himself and then all of a sudden a dead corpse rolls onto the shore and that dead corpse is Daniel Radcliffe. And as he's examining the body, the Daniel Radcliffe farts. So he's kind of like this farting corpse until he turns out to be this, like this Swiss army knife of a man, except he can do all these amazing things. So he's a Swiss army man, get it? Cause that's the title of the movie. Anyway, this movie really, really focuses on character rather than the plot. And the characters in this movie, they're brilliant. I mean, you have Paul Dano, stranded man, trying to find himself in a way. And he's brilliant, he does, it's a terrific performance, probably one of the best that I've seen uh, Paul Dano give. If you haven't seen Love and Mercy, I do recommend it, he was fantastic in that. Brilliant in this, brilliant stuff. Daniel Radcliffe as well, might be my favourite performance of his, maybe not my his favourite character of his. I mean, obviously the favourite character that Daniel Radcliffe has played is the bad guy in Now You See Me Too. Terrific stuff, everybody says so. No, but seriously, he's a great character, he farts a lot in the movie, and he's kind of like this great metaphor for that inner self that's not chained to anything that society dictates. It's also quite funny too. <laughs> As for the direction, it's I think it's brilliantly directed and it has one of those endings where it's just kind of like, whoa, I'm gonna have to watch that again because that's like, whoa, now I, I don't even understand where this went. This went like full circle, not even, it was kind of weird but brilliant at the same time. It's one of those underrated movies you'll probably hear about, but never see. But I so highly recommend that people see this. So one thing that I found memorable, or quite memorable about this movie, the music. The music, it's really great. It's never like a big dramatic like orchestra. It kind of feels like it's done with one guy and a pan flute, pan flute and it's like four guys going ba ba ba, and that just works really well for this movie because it's one of those outside the box movies that, that it just, it's so viscerally creative. And that's what I love about a Swiss Army Man. I don't really have that much of a problem with Swiss Army Man. It's just more of, I would have liked a bit more of that plot and that ending, breaking down the ending. It's really fun to break down the ending, but it doesn't make any sense, that ending. Like it's great and it's emotional, but it doesn't make any sense. As for Swiss Army Man, I'd buy it on DVD. Have you sort of seen Swiss Army Man? What did you think of it? What's your favourite sort of like survival road trip movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, or dislike it if you hated the damn Daniel reference. And subscribe to become another Platter Plan. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh wow, you made it to the end of the video. Good job. How about you click that subscribe button for more content? Or click one of these two videos. You know, either one's good enough.